Stage live at the 19th annual Stone Soul Picnic at the RFK Stadium here in Washington, D.C. And I'm here with gospel extraordinaire, Mr. Jeff Majors. How are you today? I'm doing absolutely wonderful. Good. Wonderful. It's a, it's a glorious day. It's a great day of celebration. Yes, it is. Now, speaking of celebration, I heard you got a lot of special talent. For instance, the harp. I mean, that's just so bizarre. I've never really met anyone that plays the harp. Tell me about that. Well, I, right here in Washington, D.C., uh, 15 years old, had a dream of playing this instrument, never saw it before in my life. And I shared this dream to a cabinet maker. He built me my first harp. Wow. Uh, it's pretty much history after me meeting Alice Coltrane before uh, she passed. And it's been pretty much history after that. You know? So, do you meet a lot of people that play the instrument? I meet quite a few people that really desire to do it. Okay. Uh, but, and there are quite a few harpers that are are scattered around the country. Uh, there's a hop association, you know, there's there's not a lot of African Americans involved in that association, but there's a few that do play harp, they're inside of it. You know, so it's, it's kind of an untapped, wow. untapped industry. So your ministry and gospel music has taken you a long way. You have a TV show right now on TV One, correct? The, the gospel music on Comcast Cable. Great, how's yeah. that going? It is into its uh, sixth season, doing very well, looking forward for our seventh season. And I'm really excited about this, uh, the gospel music because uh, it allows me to showcase talent that normally does not get the opportunity to be uh, in, in front of a national, uh, on a national forum. And uh, giving it to them the way God gave it to them, freely given, and this is, it, 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 it really charges me to see so many great, great individuals and the diversity of praise, and the diversity of worship, and the diversity of, uh, of expression. And that's what it's all about. I mean, I thank God for the foundation of traditional gospel music, but how gospel music has evolved, and how it's taken on a new form, a new shape, and, 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 and conforming in with the time in which we're living in. You know, I, I mean, I can remember a time, uh, in, in, as history, I should say, that Mahalia Jackson was considered a blues singer, and when she's and as she was singing gospel, she was taboo. She was like, you know, not accepted. It wasn't until the evolution took form that she became the mother of gospel music. Uh, and here come Walter Hawkins, and then here come Kirk Franklin, you know, and then come Yolanda Adams. You know, it just it's an involvement that we don't have control of. We have to obey the spirit and how we how we accept uh, the, the, our form of expression. Okay, well speaking, you know, back to your show, how do you find these, these unknown talents for your show? What's well, I, I thank God for a great team. Okay. I have a great team. Uh, we've given, I've given them criteria and what, what we're looking for. And they come back, um, they come back batting a thousand. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, speaking of team, I know that you also are very involved in the community and spreading the gospel, and you have a nonprofit organization, Network of Doves. Yes. Correct. How's that going? The Network of Doves is really growing in leaps and bounds, connecting corporate America, government, churches, and shelters, and the entertainment industry, uh, giving them, you know, uh, a guidance on the resources that are out there for those who are losing their homes, okay. those who are losing their families. Uh, those who have uh, emotional or uh, mental issues. I mean, we cover. We want to cover the entire gamut of, of the need of what the community has to have to survive. And all the healing is in our community. We don't have to go outside anywhere. And it's important that I tell folks, this is not a cash issue. This is a resource issue. And when we're 10% of the world population, own 80% of the natural resources, this is, this, this is a done deal. So uh, I'm excited watching it grow. Athletes are coming on board. Corporations are coming on board. You know, so many people are understanding the need. There are, there are shelters that have dentistry for the homeless. We don't know about a shelter who have uh, optometry for, for, for the homeless. So we're connecting them together, bringing that whole body together so people can, can have, that, have that resource. That's right. Yeah. That's such a blessing. Thank you. So what's next for Jeff Majors? Are you touring anytime soon or what do you got coming up? Sacred 8 is actually, this is the celebration. This is the day that Sacred 8 is being released. Okay, wow. And 
and uh, I'm really excited about so many great superstars that come on and be on that project, from uh, Ali Woodson from The Temptations, Shirley Murdoch, okay. uh, okay. the godfather of Go-Go, Chuck Brown, uh, an incredible spoken word artist out of Philadelphia, O. Henny. You know, so it's, a, it's such a diverse project with a common theme. And uh, I'm really excited about number eight coming to the coming to the. So if people want to get more information on you or, you know, your nonprofit or, or any type of organizations, where can they go? They can go to jeffmajors.com. Okay. They can go to the networkofdoves.org. Okay. And all the information is there. Booking, product, it's a superstore for super people. All right. Yeah. And finally, we got to talk about the event that we're at. It's a stone, so picnic. How does it feel to be a part of this event? 19 years. Yes. 19 years <laughs> of glorious fellowship in, in, at RFK Stadium. Uh, of course, we didn't start at RFK Stadium, but to know, I mean, I can only remember maybe two times out of 19 years, it has rained. Wow. Huh. I mean, it's been, it's been a blessing, you Not know? Today. So uh, I'm excited about just watching how the community comes together. You know, folks that never met each other, they meet each other. You know, it's a different kind of fellowship with, I mean, we always get kids that get lost, you know. So you get to learn something about somebody's kids while they're waiting on them, waiting for their parents. So it's a great, great artist, great entertainment. I mean, the whole gamut of, you know, the African-American experience, you know, from inspirational, the R&B, the hip hop, I mean, the spoken word, it's all right here. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you for taking a little time with us today, and we look forward to seeing you out there on stage this afternoon. Uh, it's going to be a great time. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. The pleasure's mine. Thank you. Listen, the life that I was living, I didn't feel like I could be loved. I didn't feel like I could forgive. I didn't know which way to go to me. Oh, my Jesus. Oh! <laughs>